back to school and back to the endless parade of birthday parties. Event planner Rebecca Wise is here with some really great suggestions how you can up the loot bag. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it's like parents are planning the party and yeah. then last minute they're, oh my goodness, the loot bags. And yeah. they're just like trying to grab it. Yeah, well every parent knows that September marks the beginning of the birthday party circuit. Yes. Parents are looking for unique ideas for their loot bags and mm -hmm. they are sick of the cheap plastic toys. It's true. The dollar store Play-Doh, yeah. pencils, stickers. Kids don't want it, they don't need it, and nope. parents are spending money on it. It. That's right, and it just literally, the kids walk in the door, mm -hmm. throw it on the fire yep. shoes. And, and that's it, nothing. Yeah. So today we're going to look at some unique loot bag ideas mm -hmm. across a range of budgets and age groups. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with the pet adoption station. <laughs> right, so it's it. so cute. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> this is for kids that are from two to six years old. Okay. These little soft, big-eyed stuffies are huge right now. I think yes. my daughter has like 40 of mm -hmm. them. I'm yes. not exaggerating. Yes. They retail the big ones from about $5.95, mm -hmm. and then the small ones $3.95 each. Oh, so when you think that parents are spending between three and five dollars on a loot bag on average, right. it's not that far of a reach to spend that extra dollar or two dollars and give them something they're gonna love. They're gonna love. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I, I try to do that as well. I have a boy, but I try to get maybe mm -hmm. like one big thing or something, and, and yeah. I just don't, don't want to keep. Absolutely. Junk, yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. And then you can also print off these cute little certificate of adoption forms. So cute. Kids can write their own names on it. Really own that oh, loot bag. Hello. Oh, he's not going to stay. I'm just okay. going to hold on to him. <laughs> so the stuffies are for kids, obviously, but yes. what about the teenagers? I feel like yes. for teens, simple is often better. Mm. So these items I love because they're exactly what teens want, but they're budget friendly. Okay. So for the teenagers, we have the Joe Fresh Gel Look Nail Polish. Perfect. This is new. It comes in eight different colors. It's five dollars a pop. That's so when great. right, so when you compare it with other gel nail polishes, the price point is amazing. Yes, it is. You can find them at Loblaws and Real Canadian Superstore, so it's really accessible to find. Mm -hmm. And the benefit, as we know, and teens will know as well, mm -hmm. of a gel nail polish is you don't need a base coat, you don't need a top coat. Yeah. It's a quick, long-lasting manicure. Great, so, that's a great idea. And love Fresh, it. Actually, their whole cosmetic line is really good. It's, it's a really, really good price point too. And it's yeah. good quality. Yep. Yeah. And I buy it all the time. Yeah. I also love to pair it. I'm sort of creating like a little teen teenager mini spa loot bag. Mm -hmm. So I like to pair it with these Life Brand face masks. These are amazing because obviously teens care about skincare. Yes. They are $1.99 at Shoppers Drug Mart for one or three for five dollars. Great and they're fun and, and, yeah. and yes girls just love face masks. And they're colorful. Boys think we're freaky for doing mm -hmm. it. But <laughs> no you know what I, guys I run into like, like teenage guys too they won't tell you yeah. but I know that teenage guys care about skincare as well. I've seen them at dermatology office oh, like yeah. everybody cares about skincare. Your skin's the same as ours. Mm -hmm. So if you pair these two together you can get these at Shoppers, there's right. a lot. I mean, it's super accessible, super budget mm -hmm. friendly. I love it. Teens are going to love that. Yes. Okay. Great idea. Okay. Next. Moving on. So, this is across age groups because we all love them mm -hmm. bath bombs. Yeah. That's about the only way I can get my son to bathe. Me too. <laughs> no, my daughter. I literally could not get my daughter in the bath yeah. until I started bringing bath bombs in. Right. Right. Because they're fun. Yes. They're sparkly. They fizz. There's a ton of colors. Mm -hmm. So, there's two different options here. You can either purchase, I found this really fun cotton candy bath bomb at Indigo. It's a little more expensive. It's about $7.99. Mm -hmm. But you can mm -hmm. also make them yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's not as scary as it sounds. So, it's collecting <laughs> your ingredients. Um, you can do it separately or you can mm -hmm. just buy the whole kit. I found this all at my Oh. So this is a bath bomb kit because some of the ingredients are a bit tricky to find, right? Sure. So you can buy it all as a kit. You can either buy molds or you can use like old Easter egg molds, muffin tins. Right. It doesn't have to be this perfect mold. That's kids, a good idea. kids aren't going to care, no. right? And actually, it'd be fun, you know, the the, the birthday girl mm -hmm. helping to make these as exactly. well for her friends. So. Yeah, and I do want to say it sounds daunting. It takes mm. about five minutes to make, and then if you're on a tight deadline, pop them in the freezer to dry rather than just letting them air dry. They'll okay. they'll dry in about twenty minutes. Oh, that's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, yeah, okay. it's a lot of fun. It's fun. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a girl. <laughs> it's a way to get your kids involved, too. I love you know my boy, that? but I wish I could add a girl to yeah, it. <laughs> do it with your little guy. Know. You know, like he'll get really oh, into it. Oh, he'll love it. the bath bomb thing. We for do sure. crafts all the time bath with bombs. our little play dates. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's fun. Speaking of which, the yes. last one that I want to offer is obviously slime. I mean, the world is like obsessed oh, how could you with slime. not have slime. I know. You see, you know, because you've got kids, right? So <laughs> bloggers are obsessed with slime. Kids are obsessed yes. with slime. Yes. I have sat down kids for play dates, and they've played with slime for hours. It's a tactile thing, right? It there's is. something yeah. about that. You can't mm -hmm. let go of it. Mm -hmm. So you can make your own slime. So there's two options. You yes. can either purchase. So here we've got the unicorn poop slime, which is hilarious. <laughs> oh, Again, it's goodness. a bit higher on the price point range. It was about $7.95 at Indigo. Right. But you can make it as well using commercial glue. Uh -huh. You don't have to use borax. A lot of people are concerned about right. that. You can just use contact lens solution, which is easy to find. Mm -hmm. but the other thing I want to talk about are these crazy Aaron thinking putties. So thinking putty is like a slime. 
slime. It's mm -hmm. a little bit more dense, but right. Crazy Aaron's brand, it, it's all science-based. So there's there's putties that glow in the dark using an LED, and it comes with a little oh. light. Okay. There's putties that are here, I'll show you. There's putties that are, are magnetic. Oh, there's putties, that. this one is called Oil Slick because it's got a different look to it. This is so mm -hmm. cool. Oh yeah, kids will love that. Look at that. These ones retail for $4.99. Okay. So it's the perfect price point for a loot bag, but they're amazing. It's, it's so intriguing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lisa They've wise. got volcano putties, like galaxy putties, Very where it cool. looks like iridescent stars. I love it. It's really These neat. These are good ideas. Mm -hmm. So take all of what you presented here, Rebecca, to everybody, and then, of course, just expand on that. Yeah, Think absolutely. outside the box and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and give a loot bag that someone's going to want to keep in Yes, use. not just the junk that everybody keeps giving and getting. Rebecca Wise, thank you so much for coming on the show. This is cool. I'm not giving this back. We'll be back with more Morning Live right after this. <laughs> Aren't they awesome? Oh, yeah, you can't help. They're so awesome. On the ground, carry on. Oh, 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 carry on, carry on.